So yeah, I drank my tea before um, I came to Dad's. I drank it all the way down in the cup, you know, the plastic cup. I only had like this much left, so, you know. So I drank it, and I threw the plastic cup away when I got on my other bus too to go to Dad's. And so this is why right now I have a Pepsi down to here. So that was a good meal. At my dad's, I haven't had a fish fry in a long time. Uh, I just snapped my neck and it felt so good, but now I hurt from doing that. Ow. But yeah, um, I was kind of, uh, thinking on what Kitty Morton had said that I need to uh, think about um, what I'm getting out of therapy is it working you know and stuff like that and what I really want to get out of therapy and I will show it to you right now um, let me find it here. Okay, let me just summarize. I have autism, and what I fear the most with my autism, if I do go in childcare, in a daycare setting, and if the kid is having a big, big meltdown, um, like a tantrum, I don't know how I would handle that. Like just recently, um, Wednesday, Something was going on with my printer. It printed, like, test pages out good. But then it kept saying spooling, spooling, spooling on the process thingy where, you know, with the, you know, that little dialogue box where it says where, if it's working or not. It said it wasn't printing. It said error, error, error. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I had, I was freaking pissed off and I I go what is my problem and it was almost ruining my morning so I got it working and so um you see uh I just don't want to hurt a child okay cause you know when I'm frustrated like Oh, I felt like I was going to go to my apartment and just hurt random people in my, um, in my building because I was so fucking pissed off with my printer that Wednesday, okay? But I stayed inside and I'm like trying and trying until I got it right and then it fucking worked. So my point is, my autism, if the child is frustrated having a meltdown, Having a tantrum, would I handle that calmly or would I be, shut the fuck up, kid? Because <laughs> doing that would lean, land me in jail. Lean me in jail? Land me in jail. <coughs> so, um, I'm going to ask my therapist, Rachel, and I'll write it down in here. What are we going to do to prevent this? It's time to take it seriously here because in that chapter I'm now writing about messages beyond the grave, that psychic did say I'll be working with children. Okay, so... I really believe that I need to sort this issue out, you know, and, um, and I was like saying maybe I should just ask a child development instructor if they do classes on this fear, like how to handle children's big tantrums or, you know, like, do they have a class on how to handle that? And I did say... Um, no matter how many times I do watch Super Nanny on YouTube, this still worries me. Yes, yeah, she does step by step. This is what you do. This is what you do. This is what you do. But 
my with my autism when I am frustrated with that printer I just think of the printer I'm like I don't think of the steps I don't think of you have to breathe nor count to 10 or whatever I don't think of those things so I'm just wondering if there's a class on something like that at the school where I go to like how to handle kids tantrums let like does the class go to a uh, child care and um and uh do like a test there like say for example just randomly I'm just saying Rachel would bring in um a child for me to watch and she goes okay do a fake um tantrum kid you know before she, she you know brings in the kid you know act like everything is okay first and then do a fake tantrum you know like th something like that or something and she tests me out that way or what because i don't know how i can prevent myself from not hurting a kid you know i really do not know that and i was like when i was at my dad's you know I was like thinking, would I handle the quizzes if I go back to this child development classes? Because some of the quizzes are a little tricky too. Like the psychology quizzes. Or do I just want to take the office classes? See where that lands me first. And think of better coping skills on how to study and stuff like that for tests. So it won't be so hard. see what I'm saying so that's why I decided to uh, just work with uh, in an office setting because I'm good at typing I can breeze through it like that and I don't think um, the tests are too hard in the office you know so it's very serious here. We need to get serious about this. Like work on what we need to work on. But I list in my journal. Talk about that for a half an hour. And then the other half we can read from my um, novel. Okay. Because this is very important. Because like my caseworker said. She doesn't pay for my sessions. She's my insurance person too it's hard to say my health insurance she doesn't pay for the sessions just to chit chat and you know like we're friends that's not what a therapist should do she needs to um be serious about my fears and work with me with that and um yeah so and if she is not okay with that, do I gotta find somebody else who would want to work with me with that? Okay, so I could either go find somebody else in the building who is free to put on new clients or... You know, or go to a different building in my town, like a different office, with a brand new uh, therapist. You know what I'm saying? Which is downtown. Because they go to my school anyway. You know? So that's what I was thinking. And recently, what my friends on Facebook is saying with my other issue is what I don't want to say out in the open because I was told don't say it out in the open no social media I don't want to be judged in therapy and I don't want Rachel to quote the Bible like she did the last session because I felt like she was judging in a sense okay so see what I'm saying so 
I want her to understand that, okay? Because she just got me more confused with that other issue, too, and, you know. And I should really explore that issue myself, too. That's what my friends on Facebook had said that knows this other problem. That's another thing. If she's uncomfortable and continue to quote the Bible and stuff like that, should I look for another therapist or continue to work for her? You see what I'm saying? So, I'm also going to post this video on YouTube if I remember to save this video from off my Facebook. So, yeah. God, it's like, um, eat, uh, 37 already. Jeez. Time is super fast today. Again, it's May 10th. So, I really needed that nap at like 1 p.m. I was like, why in the world does it feel like past midnight? I just hope I'm not getting sick with something. Because after that nap at like 1.40 until like 3 o'clock, I had a good nap. But when I woke up, I could barely breathe through my nose. I had a cough and blow my nose a couple of times. I'm like, good lord, I hope I'm not getting sick. Because around this time a year ago, I was so sick with uh, seasonal allergies. No matter how many um, allergy pills I take, you know, I got sick. You know, and, and, um, and I'm kind of avoiding the allergy pills because they have... It in the drug, even if it's like non drowsy, they have like this uh, thing chemical in the drug. I forget what it's called. But somebody at my school told me that it makes you tired anyway, it makes you sleepy anyway. So even if it's non drowsy or drowsy allergy pills like Claritin, I will sleep a lot. And I don't like that feeling. So, yeah, that has been on my mind. I'm sorry if this is too long. So, these are my thoughts on therapy. And, yeah. Um, I also ordered that book by, uh, what is, what is her name again? Um, what is her name again? Um, Ju I think it's Julie Ann Peters. I'm not going to say the title of the book, but yeah. And um, I ordered that today. And I ordered um, Lady Injury. I can't talk. Lady Injury by the YouTuber I Drank the Seawater. Her name, her real name is. Sorry, it said it was uh, trying to reconnect. I don't know what the hell. Her name is Melissa Seawater. Um, Lady Injury. So I ordered that one. And have another book that is um, on its way to. I can't remember the name of it either. It's something with the word universe in it. And it's a romance one. The one with the Julianne Peters is a romance one. So... I'm going to head off now. This is too long of a video anyway. So. <sighs> so. Yeah. My thoughts on therapy is what I'll call this video. 8.39 p.m. These are just going by super fast lately. Jeez. Happy Mother's Day for Sundays. People who celebrate Mother's Day. Get okay. My mommy's up in heaven with my baby girl, Patty.